This dog's crazy. In this vlog where I left off yesterday's vlog, which is actually today, and I don't know. So I'm in my driveway. I'm actually about to go to the golf course. Um, just let my truck warm up now. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'm going to show you. I got my tripod, which is awesome. Um, so I'll be able to stand up my my camera and should be able to set up my shots pretty good or the the camera shots pretty good um so yeah it should be interesting we'll see how it works out with the with the tripod um should be able to get some pretty good shots to show you i'm, I'm pretty excited to actually be able to show you more of me actually playing um just because up until this point it's been either just me driving or you've seen very limited shots of me actually hitting golf balls. So today should be fun and here we go. All right guys, we're out on our way out of the driveway now. Um, it's actually colder than, than I thought. Um, my watch tells me the temperature and I looked at it when I put it on and it told me it was about 31 which is a lot cooler than I thought. So I put on a toboggan, keep my head warm because it was actually kind of cold. So we are off to the golf course and yeah, we'll see you there. Should be fun. guys I just got through the golf course and I just want to show you something funny and kind of frustrating if you have an extended cab truck you know what I'm talking about but so there's the driver door and there's the car next to me so if you put your clubs in the back you've got to open this door and get squeezed in there hopefully not hit that car now you've got to get your clubs out And over here. So now you got this right here. So now you gotta close this door. Squeeze. Move the golf bag. <clears throat> now you can close your driver door. It's the most frustrating thing, but it's something I gotta deal with if I want to drive this truck, I guess. But I just thought that was funny. There's hardly anybody here right now, which is awesome. So it should be a good day for filming. Should be able to play pretty quickly, hopefully. I don't even have a tee time. I'm just kind of showing up early and seeing if they can get me on the course. I used to work here, so they, uh, they usually treat me pretty good here. Um, I haven't made a tee time to play, play golf in probably, <clears throat> probably three years of playing golf. So it's pretty cool. But, uh, but yeah, this course has some awesome views as you probably saw on the drive in. It's the first hole on the right and then the 10th hole on the left. I mean, there's the range. It's pretty awesome. Alright guys, I just hit my first tee shot here. I had to wait a little bit because of a frost delay, but uh, here's where I ended up. It's actually right in a divot, and the pin is just left of this green, this left side right there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put you guys down and show you this shot.
ended up a little bit long, uh, but that's not too bad. It went right at the pin. It wasn't the best shot ever. Didn't really hit it that cleanly, but uh, but yeah, it was, it's all right. It should be five or six feet, maybe. It's a little longer from the pin than I thought. It, uh, it's kind of cold, so the greens are kind of kind of firm right now. Um, because they're a little bit frozen, but uh, more like probably 15 feet. It's not too bad. There's the pin. There's my ball. So, so yeah, it wasn't wasn't too bad. Not a not a terrible start. Um, it'll get better as the day goes on, I'm sure. So close. All right, just to give you an idea of how hard these greens are, come over here. I don't know if you can hear this or not. Greens are super frozen right now. They're rolling weird. But I walked out of there with a par, left my birdie a little bit short. This could have been worse. All right, I'm on the next hole now. This is a par five. It's a dog leg left. It goes down there about, uh, I don't know, maybe 220 yards and then takes a left turn. I'm gonna hit a three wood. Um, plan is just to get down to the that bend, just to where I can see the green, and um, hopefully it's a good good play there. Should be pretty good. I went right down the right side of the fairway. It carried long enough for sure to get past that bend. But it's gonna be a little bit longer second shot just because I'm on the rightmost part of the fairway. So that's gonna make my second shot really long. Probably gonna lay up anyway. Uh, I don't wanna get too aggressive. But, uh, but yeah, I'll see you down there. This is where I ended up. This is not too bad. There's a, this is, you can't really see it now because the grass is dormant, but this is where the rough starts right here. So I just kept it in the fairway. Wasn't too bad of a shot. Um, now I've got a long second shot. I haven't really um, shot the distance of the pin yet with my rangefinder, but I'll give you a look here. I don't know if you can see it, but way down there. It's the green and the pin is just to the right of that little mound. Oh, there you go. Right to the right of that little mound right in the center. It keeps wanting to focus on my finger. I keep putting a point, but but uh Yeah. We're well, gonna probably just play a layup. Probably take like a seven or an eight iron and just get it down there, just advance the ball, get me within a good good wedge distance that pins an easy pin to attack it's on the bottom tier there's a there's a ridge at the, or a slope at the back behind the pin and that guy uses a backstop if i can get to a good distance with my wedge um then it should be pretty good to get close give me a good chance for a birdie decided to go with an eight iron just because i think that it's that's going to put me in the best distance for my wedge shot coming into the green. So, 
we go through a good one. Pretty much just aiming right dead center, just make it make it simple, don't overcomplicate too too many things here. Okay, well I hit that absolutely terribly. I hit that really thin. I hit that really thin, but it went straight. So I kept my miss in play, which is always important. No matter how, how bad you're playing golf, if you can keep your misses in the fairway and keep them fairly consistent, it'll improve your, improve your scores. And you'll be surprised how much better you'll actually shoot playing bad if you keep your misses in play. So it's important. So just hit it a little thin, it went straight. It's still a good distance though for the third shot. Just got to my ball. This is where my second shot ended up right here. There's the green right there. And you can see the pin just right at that mound there. So yeah, it's good. Probably, if I had to guess, I haven't shot it with my rangefinder yet. Probably about 85, 90 yards. Probably a smooth 56, not hit it too hard, not hit it too soft, just a good half swing and uh, should be good. All right, so I shot it with my rangefinder. I've got 91 yards, so I've just got a 56. Just gonna try to play a little half swing, try to smooth it up onto the green. Hopefully hit it right at the pin. Got a good lie here. Should be good. I'll tell you right now, I didn't hit it far enough. A little bit short. I didn't swing that hard enough. That's not a big deal, though. Um, that happens. I'm right in front of the green now, just short. So we'll play a chip shot. Hopefully, make a putt. We'll have a good shot, good chance of par here. All right. So my third shot just landed a little bit short of the green. It's not too bad though. It uh, just didn't swing hard enough. Just didn't swing hard enough. Fell a little short. Um, shouldn't be too bad though. I've got. Plenty of space to work here between the pin and the and the edge. I might try to land it right in this area, right in here, and have it kind of kind of release up in the up onto the green. So yeah, we'll see how it works out. Too. Wasn't too bad though. It rolled out to right here, which was actually behind the camera. There's the pin. So now I've got maybe eight or nine feet for a par here. So we'll see how it works. Looks like left to right. Just a hair. I mean, left edge, see if that works. I didn't hit it hard enough. All right. That's a bogey but that's okay. Ended up with a bogey there. That could have been worse. I uh, I just didn't hit that putt hard enough. It actually started 
it hit some stuff on the green too and it kind of hopped up a little bit in the air and that didn't help my situation but bogey's not too bad That was an okay shot. Didn't hit exactly how I wanted. But a shot in the fairway is a good shot in my opinion. So yeah, I'll see you up there for the second shot. All right, there's where my drive, my tee shot ended up. There's the green. Flag is right here. On the bottom tier, this should be a pretty good, sh pretty fun shot here. And for reference, here I'll stand right behind my ball. T box. That's where I just hit from, right down there. Wasn't the best shot ever, um, but a shot in the fairway, like I said before, a shot in the fairway is a good shot. All right, guys, we got 138 yards. To this flag here so I've got a pitching wedge I'm just gonna try to play a full pitching wedge just smooth it up on the green here and just try to make a birdie short but it'll do landed short of the short of the flag again it's a little cold so I think the ball is not flying as far as it usually does all right my second shot my second shot didn't end up like I'd hoped but uh it's not too bad it's green up here I'll show you there's the flag it's not don't got a whole lot of green to work with here, so this has got to be a pretty precise shot. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult, but we'll make it work. All right, guys, I got a 56. I'm just gonna try to open it up and just lob it up on the green there. I don't expect to get this one too close, just because I have so little green, such a little green to work with, and I've got to carry it over this hill here, and I don't if I come up short of the green it's going to come back to me so I don't want, I want to avoid that so I'm just going to open it up just get it up that hill I got it up the hill it went went a decent ways past there but there is there's a little um, slope behind the pin it's a good ways behind the pin, but I rolled up this slope right here, right here. It came up, went past the pin, came up in here, and it actually rolled it back down towards the pin to here. So it didn't really end up that bad. Um, like I said, I just wanted to get it up that hill because if I came up short of the green, it was gonna roll back into the fairway, and, and I obviously don't want that. So now at least I'm putting for a par and Give myself a decent shot at it. We got looks like we got a left to right, a left to right break here. Try to play it a little bit on that, probably the left edge, which is this way to you guys. It's your guys' right. Hopefully, it'll break in there for a par.
didn't break as much as I thought it would. But still, that's not too bad. Considering that mistake I made on the second shot, a bogey's not too bad. I just left that second shot way short. That, that uh, I was in the fairway, I had a good lie. There was no reason that second shot shouldn't have landed on the green. But considering that mistake, I made a bogey. That's not too bad. All right guys, I'm leaving the golf course. I just got done playing. I didn't finish too well. Um, I ended up shooting a 90, which there's plenty of room for imp improvement there, obviously. Um, so that's not good. Um, I'm hitting the ball okay right now. I'm just not scoring that great. So I'm just trying to practice and get more consistent um, back down to where I was because I was shooting consistent 70s. And I don't know really what happened there. I just... I don't know, that just happens in golf. So I'm just trying to get consistent again, and practice as much as I can. So I'm gonna end this vlog early today um, just cause I've gotta go home and edit this together and get it put up. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna end this early, go out and chill out, go home and chill out and just call it a day. So um, let me know if you liked the video, um, thumbs up if you do. Leave a comment and tell me what you think. Um, just so I know if I can, if you guys are interested in these videos, I'll keep putting them up. Um, so yeah, let me know your feedback.